Sagittarius, thank you for tuning in to Perfectly Imperfect Tarot. This is Green Eyes. Here to give you your reading, love. Sagittarius, sun, moon, rising, Venus, Mars, Martians, astronauts. Pick a node. It doesn't matter to me. I love you all. Cross watchers, I am a snitch. I'm telling you now. Please do not curse me in the comments, all right? I love you too. Guys, if you find the message or the message found you, that means there may be something in here for you or a seed to be planted for tomorrow. This is for Sagittarius. Uh, excuse me. This is a judgment-free zone, but you will hear the truth. There's no gender here. You're going to hear me use the terms he, she, her, him, they, them, it, have, but pay that no mind. Feel the energy. Remember, roles can always be reversed. Hmm. Sagittarius, uh, in advance, I thank you. Like, share, subscribe, emails, comments, love tokens, donations. Thank you, thank you, and thank you again. Uh, a couple of things. There's a water sign that's uh, nervous. Um, that's how I want to say that. Uh, it seems that they are they have a love interest, uh, but they're nervous. You intimidate them, okay? And I know you don't like weak people, but just... Um, it might be worth looking into because it seems the emotion seems de genuine. Um, yeah, uh, I'm seeing pentacles, so they may be secure uh, financially or hardworking. Mm, they may have a reputation of a player. I ain't gonna lie, but their emotion for you is pretty substantial. Just be gentle. All right. Um, dreams of Gaia, I was led to for you in a full spread. Uh, no oracle. So we're going to ride this boat and see where it leads us, okay? Center energy, please, for Sagittarius. Oh, hello. That was me, y'all. Hold on. You know these cards are big and slippery. Sagittarius. Look, you called. All right. Mm. Hierophant energy, seven of air. In traditional tarot, the seven of swords would talk about um, half-truths, untruths, sneaky, conniving, communication. Um, in this deck, it's a hierarchy. It's uh, like Hierophant energy. Um, it's an energy of education of uh, administrative positioning, uh, an energy of big mama, uncle Earl of the family, a priest, bishop, I mean, someone you respect, okay? Crown the energy, please, for Sagittarius. Thank you. And we have a sage. I love it. It's complementary to this energy, major arcana for this deck. The sage is wise. It's uh, similar to the hermit, but it's a, honestly a little rougher. Uh, the sage that makes sense now. Okay. Uh, the sage uh, is someone you go to for knowledge, for um, opinions, uh, educated um, opinions, uh, wisdom because of experience. But the sage is extremely um, militant, you know, in the way they speak. They, they can come off a little rough. You know, uh, not to say that what they say is not true and they have the best intentions for you. But sometimes when they speak, when a sage speaks this energy, it's it's um, it's usually it, it can be a little rough. You know, it can be hard to digest. Uh, you can't have thin skin dealing with the sage energy. And guys, this is crowning you with it uh, with the seven of air. So you really might be intimidating people right now. I stand by my original um, energy. What's undermining you? The king of fire passion. So you guys are operating right now out of complete logic. Okay, uh, the king of fire undermining you is your energy, of course, Aries Leo Sag. Uh, the passion, you know, where is it? Where is the passion, the oomph, the desire, the lust, the that go-getter? You know what I mean? Um, that drive. Uh, what's this coming from for Sagittarius? Past energy, please. You are really operating in air. You may have air in your chart or you're just feeling... 
Libra season, period. And I know y'all not the best of friends, but we talking. You're definitely in your head and you're communicating harsh truths more than you. I know you always tell the truth. I know you always speak your mind. Sag, I love you. You know, I know. But now, ooh, we. Five of air. That's where this is coming from. You took the gloves off. Good Lord. I mean, if you look at the picture, she's taking the mask off so you can see the real her. But you took the gloves off. I want you to feel me. <laughs> Where is this going? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Ace of water. Ace of cups energy. I love it. Okay. You took the gloves off, basically. You know, not that you haven't always been, like I said, a truth speaker. Um, but for whatever reason, I don't know what's been going on. But you reached a point in your life that this is me, period. This is where I'm at period. And either you like it or you don't, period. That's where we are. I'm not sugarcoating this thing. I don't care, but if my makeup is done, I don't care. I don't care how you feel about it. What you're going to do is you're going to know how I feel. You're going to know my truth. Okay. Now how you see it, uh, is your truth, but this is mine. And your truth is, and your logic is, and your thought process is that you're doing either what you know or how you have been taught, how you were raised, uh, you're following protocol. You know what I'm saying? You're speaking from experience when you need to. You're pulling down from this wisdom when you need to. And if you need to, you're going to the most high for guidance just to make sure that you're right. You know what I mean? It's like you're saying, I can't agree with you because we can't both be wrong. Didn't I see? I saw that somewhere. I can't agree with you because we can't both be <laughs> Sag. <laughs> I love the fact that this brings in new um, emotion, new passionate emotion, new uh, replenishing of the uh, emotional spirit. Uh, the Ace of Cups is divine love. You know what I'm saying? This can also speak about reconciliations. It could, you, you, honestly, I think you're teaching somebody how to deal with you. That's where I, I think this is going, to be honest. This feels like you're really, you got to a point that you need to understand how to communicate with me. You need to understand my love language, you know, how I speak in the language of love. And this is going to help, uh, uh, replenish, rekindle, reconcile, or develop a new, call in a new, um, you know, connection for you on an emotional level. This might be that water sign. I told you, uh, Cancer Pisces or Scorpio, but somebody is learning how to deal with you because they didn't know how. Uh, page of Swords here in reverse. They didn't know how to speak to you. They just didn't. Um, I think that with the Six of Air here, Six of Swords energy, they will be learning and maybe making their way towards you. Or this is you moving away from what you felt was toxic, but you've been doing that for so long. I can't imagine you still running. I mean, we're going to run out of earth in a minute. You know what I'm saying? You didn't cut everybody up, down, and all around. So I think this is somebody making their way towards you. I think they see you as this mother energy, empress energy, uh, somebody uh, extremely uh, stable and intuitive, capable of uh, fertile energy, which is uh, birthing life-changing events, uh, somebody abundant, loving, nurturing. The empress is the embodiment of all four queens, okay? Um Hero energy is night of fire. That passion, there it is. You know what I mean? The only thing is that um, this passion is not consistent. I have to say that night of wands is not a consistent energy. But in this deck, it, it's very protective. And that's where I think people misunderstood you. I think they misunderstood uh, your mama bear your papa bear in you, you know, they didn't know the depths that you would take, um, to protect what's yours. You know what I'm saying? 
I want to say it. Yeah, that's how I want to leave that. They didn't know. You could have been dealing with um, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius with this Queen of Air. Um, but the Queen of Air is an energy that is a teaching energy. If you're, um, you know, which if you're coming into this energy and this is not someone you were dealing with, uh, this is an energy. I'm going to teach you how to deal with me. I got the same energy from this page of swords reverse page of air reverse. Um, I'm going to teach you how to speak to me. I'm going to teach you my language of love so that now there is no misunderstanding. And then from here on out, um, I'll know for sure that what you did is not, uh, this betrayal, what I see as betrayal is not a mistake because I told you, I told you, I told you. Okay. Now what we can do is I'm still willing. If you're willing, I'm willing. Okay. Uh, to bury this hatchet, make amends. Um, we can agree to disagree. We can go wherever you want to go with this thing. It don't matter to me. It really don't. That's what you're saying, Sag. It don't matter to me. We can be, if we're going to be friends, you, I need, you need to understand how to speak to me, how to deal with me. You need to know my love language. If we're not, that's fine too. That's fine too. With this nine of earth, it don't matter to you. You're good either way. All right. But what we're not going to do no more is be ashamed of the past, ashamed of the scars, ashamed of the journey. You worked hard. You've been dragged, you've been completely misunderstood, and enough is enough. Enough is enough. The knowledge that you've gained from this, this journey, knowledge, Hierophant, sage, this is all wisdom. And what it taught you to do was be a boss, period. Period. Mm, mm, mm. Sage, I love you guys so much. I hope this helps. If any event, none of it resonates, it's all right. Check out your moon and rising. Please don't take the energy with you. Leave it here for another Sag, okay? Guys, I'd appreciate it. Support the channel. Thumbs up. Subscribe so that you're notified of future readings. And remember, we are all perfectly imperfect. And I'll talk to you next time. Bye.